hello it's Sarah and there it is that's my desk uh, Matt and I put it together on Tuesday I spent all yesterday getting everything up here that I needed to start crafting and I like it it's called the South Shore Annex workstation and storage unit I got it from Amazon it was around $150 and it works it's it's good it has storage all the way down as you can see I have things underneath that aren't where they're gonna be yet um, but I like the upper part definitely for my go-to things that I use all the time and then I've put some jet max cubes on the end and it extends the surface the work the work the surf top you know this the desk top um, I'm pretty happy with it uh, I probably would have liked, and I may still get, some of the Alex um, Ikea pieces, the drawers. I really, really like them. I have none of my punches up here at the moment. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put those. Um, what else? There's still a lot of, all my wooden stamps are downstairs still. Quite a lot is downstairs. Um, and they're not things that I use every day, so I'm not stressing. I think I'm set for what I use every day, what I need. I did bring my sewing machine in, and that'll be my little sewing station, like with <clears throat> fabrics and fibers and uh, things like that, where I'll store that stuff. So I'm kind of happy about that, because I would like to start to sew on um, paper projects as well. So having that there is nice. Um, I did bring a couple of those wire racks up because, you know, the room is lovely. I love the space. Um, so happy and, um, you know, but the windows, <laughs> from a crafter's perspective, are taking up a lot of my storage. So I'm going to stand up. Um, I, it's a rainy day here in New Jersey. But I did bring up my beads. That's all my beading stuff. And I also don't have any place that I can hang things off of. So I've got a few hanging things there on my bead rack. Um, and I think I'm going to bring my paint spinner up here. I have a big paint holder. And I'm going to put that on top of here so that I have access to paint. It doesn't hold all my paint. But I'm going to arrange it and do as best I can to um, sort through what paints I'll probably need. I don't know. I'm going to try and get back into painting this year. Um, I've only brought a few things up that I um, decorated with, and I've had to label all of these boxes and bins because I didn't know where anything was. Um, you know, just I mostly put my stamps, my, um, what is that, polymer, polymer, you know, rubber stamps in these boxes. Um, all my Tim Holtz stuff is up here, you know, I mean, but this is really the best thing over here. I'm going to set this up maybe right here on the table. Oh, I've had to bring this light up. I don't know if I mentioned that because I filmed this a few times. I brought this light in. Last night I was crafting. It was just way too dark. Um, we have lighting issues. My husband has to fix that, and he will because he's very crafty that way. Um, but for now, this actually is good for the for my work surface. Um I can definitely see what I'm doing well enough. So, um, oh, I brought my painting angel up. See, she's up there on the wall. And I just decorate it with a few things that I have. But um, this is, uh, over here is my main go-to things that um, I use on a regular basis. And I've actually, you can't see from that view, but I've actually labeled these drawers too. I just took little um, sticker labels and cut them up and put them on the tops of these huh, Sterlite bins because, up oh, I lost one here. My buttons, my buttons fell. They're not sticking as well as I'd hoped, but like this is bling. But anyway, and then the other thing I wanted to show you is this piece. This held all my um, resin. When I was working with resin, I had all my molds in there and, um, glitter and different things and stickers but I'm so glad I thought of that because see as you can see I mean this is where I work 
This actually is fantastic having this space. I bought my spinning thing, reorged that and got it really well organized. My adhesives, my stickles, my ATG. And so I'm good with my go-to um, tools. Oh, I love that I have um, some of my milk glass on the desk and the desk is white. So it's, it's like really pretty. Like I'm very inspired and happy about that. And that my white bins here, these are my go-to things, little flowers, wood veneers, metal pieces, buttons. So that's good. This is, I've arranged now as projects I'm working on or wanna work on. Um, those are dies from my um, Explore. I made a card yesterday, I might share that. Um, my other stickles and different things are up there for now. This is kind of the least, st the least stored thing. I've just put my Copics in a few things, so. Um, but this is my go-to um, trims, more frilly trims, and then blingy trims. So very, very happy about that. Worked out really well. And then here's my notebooks so I can always take notes or um, write something down. So everything, and then I still have room. Like I had my iPad out last night and I was watching videos and crafting. So it was pretty cool. I have to keep my cutter over here because I had drawers in my old desk that I kept a lot of stuff in, but this is working out fine. And then of course my scrap bin have to have that. So for now I can craft, I'm good. I can totally, um, see like this light actually isn't bad. I'm pretty happy cause I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to film a tutorial in a little bit. Um, but it is an issue. The lighting is an issue. Oh, I put my create banner up. <laughs> I didn't really do a lot of um, decorating. Uh, I, I had to put a brighter light over there, so I put my um, milk glass light over there. But And I'm thinking I might put one more of my metal racks right there. I think I am gonna do that. I love the window ledges and how pretty they look and they're, you know, as a living room, they are wonderful for just putting a little knickknack on. But, you know, seriously, as a craft room, I need to have, uh, <laughs> I, I think I'm going to bring my other metal rack up, um, and I think, oh, my phone's ringing. I think that might be uh, all I need. So that's it, guys. I still need a rug. I need lighting, and Joe's going to put a door on there, so that ought to work well for when the phone's ringing and, you know, you don't want to hear things out there. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching.